This is the Gallery 1390R DTF printer, and in this video, we're gonna show it in use with the powder application and oven unit. For this example, we will be using the software's Knock Me Color Out feature to remove secondary colors from each square in the design. This will use less ink when printing and give the press design a lighter, softer feel. Before we print, we just want to feed the film through the powder chamber and oven and tape it onto the take-up reel. You can feed the film directly from the printer if you like, but if you want to save film, you can create a four to five foot lead and use heat resistant tape to connect it to the film coming out of your printer. After topping off your ink tanks and giving it a quick prime using the auto priming button, we can power on the front of the gallery printer and then go back to our RIP software and send our print job. Once the job starts to print and our tape line has moved into the oven, you will want to turn on the oven heater, air filter, thumper, and the powder agitator. The powder will pull the film down and once it reaches the sensors, it will activate the take up reel until it's no longer blocking that sensor. You will not need to leave the powder agitator on the entire time. Once you have a good amount on the film, you can actually let it stop until the edges start to look a little thin. The excess powder will fall down into the catcher at the bottom of the chamber. You only need to power down the thumper and the powder agitator and then pull the catcher out from the bottom of the chamber and then dump that excess powder back into the powder agitator. When your printer finishes printing, there will still be some materials that need to go through the powder application chamber as well as the oven for curing. One way to do this is cut two to four inches above the last print and then carefully let it down into the powder chamber at a slow pace until eventually you can let it rest inside the oven and cure for about two to three minutes before you turn the take up reel with your hand and move it to the next spot. Once everything's nice and cured, we're ready to cut our transfers and then press them to our substrates. For more information, head on over to uscutter.com or contact us directly using the information shown here on your screen.